the sound of my other world. Yeah, you're right. Welcome back to M. Hood Fishing. Maybe this is the world I should live in if it doesn't rain there. This one's probably better though. Yeah, you're right. I got the right hat on for it. And yeah, I've, they got green thumbs. So I've actually been awake since 2 a.m. I don't know why I woke up, couldn't get back to sleep and worked on my other world because it's been raining. I've just been getting knocked back by wet bad weather and a skunk that won't leave me alone just because of bad weather so I got done many many circuit bending projects for my other world however this world right here is knocking and for a lot of you especially you guys on this channel this is the world we live in together the other world some of you join me some of you don't it's all good but we got to get to this world are we going to get good or are we going to get bad are we going to get knocked back or are we going to come back with the skunk and not the sexy one either so yeah it's also the full moon and it's been pouring down all day just torrential rain it's still piddling a little bit out there right now we're supposed to stop soon i'm kind of getting ready i'm moving slow i'm actually waiting for the kettle to start smoking start steaming because i need another cup of tea did i mention i've been up since 2 a.m and it is now just about at sunset it looks like it's after sunset out there them clouds are so dark so yeah gonna go see if we can catch some fish on the full moon after too much rain if it stops hopefully it does so we're gonna go look for a uh, sakale because water temperature is coming up and been stuck in the house too long. I got some new baits here at the hardware store, actually. These are by the crappie psychic. I was thinking that I was thinking baits for drop shotting. That's what I was there looking for. John Froze is the name of the hardware store here in Bell Chasing. Some some of their stuff is you know, you know, you go there, you're paying for convenience, but they do carry an interesting array of sockele baits or crappie baits we got these right here they're almost an avocado chartreuse it's a little baby shad it's the flake in there nice and colorful this is uh the same color but a curly tail and what's the other thing I got one more pack of baits there this is a company i never fished before muddy water now this is garlic flavor. I'm really curious to see if that'll work. <laughs> Maybe I need that edge tonight. Muddy water and a full moon. Black and chartreuse. But what's interesting about this, when you first look at it, you think it's a hollow tube. A hollow. Hollow? What's a hollow tube? And if that's what you were thinking, like me, we're all correct. It is a hollow tube. Or feels as such. But it's not the hollow tube you thought it would be, right? Look, it's got a single tail. It's not fringed. Let's see. It does smell like garlic. I was going to say something, but the kettle's talking. Got my mellow, 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 mellow. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't be talking because I can barely talk. I'm so scatterbrained. Did I say I've been up since 2 a.m. doing stuff? I've been busy. Busy as I can be when it's raining. So I'm real excited to get out, you know, go hang out and fish with my friend. Real excited to get out. But am I feeling it? Hmm, I don't know. Definitely feeling this cup of tea, let me tell you. It's going to hit the spot. Well, that's enough of me banging on about not much. Let me get it together and get out there. You know, what will be interesting is to see just how flooded it is because a lot of things are, well, there's a lot of reports of flooded this and flooded that, you know. So, yeah, let's go. Let's have some fun. All right, I'm at the spot. I'm with my friend, Karen. He actually brought goldfish. 
He's got one on, little feeder goldfish. I'm gonna slide that over here, Karen, yeah. real quick. Little live bait on a small hook. We're at a culvert. Across the road is a bayou. Yeah, you're right. So it is late right now. It's like what, before nine still? Yeah, I think it's so, nine. Yeah, it's around nine. It stopped raining about maybe two and a half hours ago or so. It's nice. It's in the 60s. Water's not too dirty, not too clean. This is really far from pumping stations that are on the bayou that this is connected to. So there's not dirty water flowing through here. If anything, it's coming out of here. So any any dirty water in here is caused by the rain, not by the pumping. But they were probably all pumping down there, drawing water out of here. So it is cloudy, but the cool thing is that there's clean water and cloudy water kind of mixing. But it is the full moon. So maybe I should shut up and get a line in the water, right? I was about to, oh, he got him. He got him. I was about to show you guys what I'm fishing with. And Karen is bringing, whoa, sorry. Oh, it's a nice sockele. Oh, this is a two pound test, too. We don't have a net. Actually, I do. Hoist him up into the deck. I actually do have a net in my kayak. Oh, you do? Oh, oh no, 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 he's on the edge. Oh, 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 save, Sock save. All right, so I'm not gonna do live bait right off, but I might. We're starting with a hair jig. Well, I'm a little over a foot. There's about two foot of water there, so I might shorten that. But that is a hair jig by a good friend of mine. And it's Kai's Custom Hair Jigs. There's a link in the description if you're interested. Of course, I got a crappie dibble on there. No, you, you're good. That is a good one. Yeah, you're right. You don't want them? Uh, I'll let them go then. I'll get one of my own. All right. Yeah. Put them back in there. I'll catch them. Get that thermos, though. Mosquitoes getting to you? Yeah. On my hands and knuckles, too. Oh. You're not bothering me quite yet. Oh, yeah. I'm switching to a live bait. Oh, oh. <laughs> sorry, sorry, buddy. A little smaller than that yeah. first one. Finally, on the right. on the Kai's custom jig. Look at that. Oh. oh, dude, that's a nice one. Took a second. I didn't have to switch to a Goldie. Oh, and you got my camera wet, you little stinker. Look at that. Not very big, guys. Did I mention that I've been awake since 2 a.m.? <laughs> yeah, you're right. Gonna have to be a lot bigger than this to get me to go home and cut fish. Got, oh, he spit you. Yeah. Let me turn on the light, guys. Still, Kai's custom jigs. I haven't switched to a live bait yet. I mean, why would I? If I can get one on a hair jig, I can get two. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I might keep fish if I get them bigger than this. Bigger. What's up? A little bit bigger. A bigger, yeah, a little bit bigger. Why? I'm just happy to have a video. Let me tell you, I've been out several times, like last week when it was cold and the weather was bad, and then this week, I've been out once on Monday, and it was horrible, no video. And then the rest of the week, it's just either been blowing gales or hurling buckets down. And it's trying to rain right now. We're actually getting consumed by fog. There's a dense fog coming in on us right now. Let's keep catching. Oh, this has got a little bit better of a fight, Karen. Yeah. Sorry, guys. I know you can't see it too well, but give it a couple of shakes and we will see it. Boom. Again, you hit the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Did it again. That is a little better than those first two. 
Yeah. Isn't it amazing that we're catching Sokolay tonight? It's the full moon. And today was just like horrendous rain all day. Like really, really bad. And this water is not super dirty, but not super clean. But yeah, it's just great. I'm just happy. And so are you, right? I'm happy. Yeah, you're right. You can you keep it or let no, it go. No, I'm letting it go. Yeah, you're right. Well, that one, let me turn on the light, guys. Let's see what this is. This thing is running all over the place. I still haven't switched to the live bait. You know I'm stubborn with the jigs, <laughs> with the artificials. Oh, you missed the wall that yeah, time. No, yeah, I got him over that time. <laughs> nice. Yeah, he was running. Yeah, he was flying. Let's try a live bait. They're small, so I'm going to use a size 4 octopus. See the size? Here's the hook. Now, what I'm going to do is get his mouth open. And come out through the eye like that. See that? Not through the middle of his head, but right there through the eye socket. That won't kill him. Whoops. All right, hooked up again. Whoa, that's a good fight right there. Is that a bass? That's a bass. Yep. Really clipped the wall. Yeah, I saw that. Little pounder. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. And maybe turn back on. Maybe. So what's up, guys? Is that we just sat here for like? Oh, oh, whoa! That no way. Your sakale was swimming around on the hook, and another one broke the water right there. Multiple. So, that was multiple. Multiple, probably. It was about two hours went by with no bites. And we were about to call it. How about that? Huh? Like maybe five minutes. He's got another one. Not even. I haven't had a hit on my live bait either. Saw that fish jump out the water? Nice. Yeah. So I'm fishing one side of this <laughs> and he's fishing the other side. That is a nice one. <laughs> Let me see the size of that. What's a that one's got some shoulders. It's that side. Barely hooked. He's getting all the hits on that side. <laughs> Let me turn on the light. Finally, I got one on a live bait and we are out of live bait. That's a nice. Whoa. Release. Quick release. Yeah. Popped right off. Get out of there. This is our last goldfish. They're all about this size. I mean, that's that's not bad for a black crappie. Not bad at all. But yeah, you're right. Nice. Nice. Bait is gone. It is after midnight. I'm about gone too, and in here pretty soon I will be gone. But let me tell you something. I was faded a while ago started catching fish and I didn't feel faded but I do now <laughs> yeah you're right did I tell you I've been up since 2 a.m long day got a lot done didn't think I was going to be able to catch fish then I got down with homeboy over here and we both weren't sure if we were going to make it happen tonight but yeah we did with the feeders and with the Kai jigs Kai's custom jigs there's a link down in the description all right, guys, thanks for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing, being a member of the channel, and I will see you next time.